Welcome to Making a Murderer, Rubber Ducky Video Channel. Welcome back to the RD Making a Murderer Daily Ma'am Reading. We're doing Castle Investigative Reports, and this is part 68. Page 671, Barbianda. I said, why? Fassbender on the phone. Okay, Barbianda. Mm, uh, why did he do you... What did he do to you to make you do that? Brennan, nothing. Barbianda, did he force you to do it? Brennan shakes head, no. Fassbender on the phone. All right, if, if we go in tomorrow and I think we need someone, I'll call you, all right? Barbianda, uh-huh. Fassbender on the phone. All right, thanks, bye. Brennan. Barbianda, oof. Brennan, you don't want to. Barbianda, what? Brennan, I didn't, I didn't want to. Barbianda, oh, door opens and closes. Are you regretting it now? Pause. You had a whole, you had a whole life ahead of you, Brendan. Just because he's so demanding doesn't mean you got to do the stuff he says, right? Brendan, where am I going? Barbianda, where do you think you're going? Brendan, I don't know. Barbianda, you're going to juvie. That's where you're going, to a juvie jail about 45 minutes away. Brennan, yeah, but I got a question. Page 672. Barbianda, what's that? Brennan, what happened if he says something, his story is different, where he says he, he admits to doing it? Barbianda, what do you mean? Brennan, like if his story is like different, like I never did nothing or something. Barbianda, did you? Huh? Brennan, not really. Barbianda, what do you mean not really? Brennan, they got to my head. Barbianda, huh? Brennan, say anything. Barbianda, what do you mean by that? Pause. What do you mean by that, Brendan? I have a question for you too. Is there any way that I can talk to him? Not him, the the other one? Weaker. As in Steve, you mean? Barbianda, yes, Weger. The only way we can have you talk to him is if he calls you or if it's, you know, you go there for visiting. Barbianda, I won't go there and visit. Weger, okay, that's the only way. I, I have no other way of, you know, I, I can't hook you up to him or anything like that. I'm not allowed to do that. If he calls you, you can do what you want. Or if you go there for visiting, you know, that's up to you. Barbianda, were you pressuring him? Weger, who are you talking about? Page 673, Barbianda, him. Weger, what do you mean pressuring him? Barbianda, and talking to him. Weger, no, we told him we needed to know the truth. We've been doing this job a long time, Barb, and we can tell when people aren't telling the truth. And in my opinion, he'd never be able to live with himself if he didn't tell somebody. There's no way. He couldn't live with that. Nobody could live with that. I think Brendan knows that. Weger, Brendan, you need to use the bathroom or anything? Brendan shakes head, no. Barbianda, when are you going out to my house then? Weger, as soon as we can leave here? We'll go out there. I don't think we're going to bring Brendan out there, though. I, I just don't think that's a good idea. I think he needs to be exposed to that. I don't think he needs to be exposed to that or be out there anymore. Door opens and closes. It's not going to do him any good, Barbianda. So what you're saying is if when he gets out, it wouldn't be a good idea for him to be there at all? Well, you're, I, you know, I can't tell you where you guys to live, but what do you think? Do you think it's a good idea for him to next where this stuff occurred? Barbianda, I, I don't want to be there, but I can't afford another place. Well, you're, I know, Barbianda. I mean, that's $80,000 I owe you. Well, you're, I understand. Well, you're, it's shitty, shitty spot to be in, Barbianda, and nobody's going to buy it. Weger, you're in a bad spot, and uh, I wish I had some answers for you. If there's something I can do to help you, I certainly will. Pause. Maybe you should look into moving the house. Page 674. Barbianda, I can't afford it. Weger, we, who knows? You don't even know what it'll cost. Depends on where you move it. Barbianda, quite a bit. Pause. An extra 16000 for a basement. Pause. So what did you all help him with? Can I ask? Will you tell me, Brendan? Did you do it willingly, huh? Brendan shakes head no. Pause. 
He did tell me one time, Stephen, he told me that probably one or two of my kids would not graduate. Uyghur. Stephen told you that? Barbianda. Yeah. This was before this all even happened. So he must have had it all planned. Uyghur. It's very possible. Very possible. Pause. Barbianda. You don't know how much hatred I got right now. Uyghur. You're right. I don't. I can imagine. I can only imagine. I, I can't even put myself in your shoes, Barb. I can't. Barbianda. My oldest son is going to flip. I can't even tell him. I can't. Uyghur. I think you better because... Barbianda, I can't. He's on a heart monitor right now. Uyghur, this is going to be on the media tonight. Barbianda, oh, God. Uyghur, there's no way to stop it. Barbianda, he's not going to be on, is he? Uyghur, Brendan? Barbianda, yeah. Uyghur, no. Page 675. Barbianda, well, they can't anyhow. Uyghur, no, he's not going to be on. Barbianda, how long do we have to stay here? Uyghur, well, as soon as you guys are done talking. Barbianda, no, and he's not talking too much, so we are, you know, I can leave you alone, but this is all recorded and videotaped. Do you understand that? Barbianda, I don't care. We are, okay, all right. Do you want to be left alone with him for five minutes or it doesn't matter at this point? Barbianda, it doesn't matter. We are, okay. Barbianda, I just don't know if I'm really able to handle it. We are, you have to. Barb, you have to. You've got other children you've got to worry about. Barbianda, I know. Weir, and you got Brendan to worry about too. Brendan's going to need you through this. Pause. Okay, let's go. Barb, is this yours? Barbianda, yeah. Weir, let's go in the other room. Brendan, I'll be back, okay? Door opens and closes. Pause. Door opens and closes. Page 676. Fassbender. Did you want another water, Brendan? Brendan shakes head no. Long pause. Door opens. Weir, she wants to give him a hug. Barbianda, stand up. Background voices, door opens and closes. Pause. Door opens and closes. Jacobs, Brendan, my name is Dennis Jacobs, and I'm, I'm a detective with Manitowoc County. Do you have any weapons or anything on you? Brendan, just some stuff that I can give to my mom, like a CD player and that. Jacobs said that wouldn't be a weapon, though. You have like a little pocket knife, anything like that? Brendan, Jake said no, no. Jacobs, can you stand up? I just want to pat you down real quick, just to make sure. Well, that's nothing that's gonna gonna hurt me. And okay, that that's fine. Okay, there's nothing, nothing else in your pockets at all. Okay, you have a shirt. You have a pocket up there, Brendan. No, Jacobs. Okay, you can have a seat, Brendan. Doing something, Jacobs. Yeah, you you can put it back in your pockets too if you want. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. Actually, if you want to listen to your headphones, you can go ahead and do that too. Page 677. Door closes. Music playing in the background during pause. Door opens. We get, Brendan, this is what's going to happen, okay? We're going to take you downstairs. Door closes. They're going to fingerprint you and stuff here. Brendan, not Jess. Okay. And then you'll be taken over to down to Sheboygan County Jail. Brennan nods yes, okay? Brennan nods yes. So, is that yours? Brennan nods yes. Uh-huh. Weir. Where did you have it? In your pocket? Holy Christmas. All right. Why don't we go? Okay, bring that along. Fassbender side or... Weir. Okay, Fassbender. We're going outside? Weir. No. Door closes. This is the end of the interview. Brendan Dassey at the Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department. Investigator Mark Weger, Calumet County Sheriff's Department. Page 678. Type of activity, supplemental report, date of activity 030106 and 030206. Reporting Officer, Investigator Wendy Baldwin. On 030106, I, Investigator Baldwin of the Calumet County Sheriff's Department. Assisted in preparing a search warrant for 12932 Avery Road. The purpose of the search warrant was to have a search conducted on the trailer formerly occupied by Stephen Avery, as well as his garage. The search warrant was prepared based on the information that Investigator Mark Weger and Special Agent Tom Fassbender had received. Earlier in the afternoon, contact was made with Investigator Weigert and Special Agent Fassbender, at which time I received new information from the result of a follow-up interview with Brendan Dassey. The first search warrant was destroyed at that time, and a new search warrant with the updated information was prepared. 
At approximately 1555 hours, I made contact with Honorable Judge Willis in the judge's chambers and presented the search warrant and affidavit. At approximately 1601 hours, the Honorable Judge Willis and I signed and dated the search warrant. At approximately 1834 hours, the search warrant on the trailer and garage were executed. I assisted in documenting the evidence that was taken as well as the time and evidence tag number recorded with each individual item that was seized. Along with assisting with the logging of that information, I also documented the times of the glove changes, and those are as follows. At 1935 hours, Sergeant Tyson and Deputy Reamer. At 2017 hours, Sergeant Tyson and Deputy Reamer. At 2031 hours, Investigator Baldwin. At 2114 hours, Sergeant Tyson. That would conclude regloving from 030106. On 030206, the search resumed. And again, I assisted with recording the time and evidence tag numbers with the items that were seized. Regloving occurred again at the following times. At 09-1600 hours, Sergeant Tyson and Deputy Reamer. At 09-45 hours, Sergeant Tyson. At 10-17 hours, Sergeant Tyson and Investigator Baldwin. At 10-48 hours, Deputy Reamer. Page 679. At 11-15 hours, Sergeant Tyson. At 11-25 hours, Sergeant Tyson. At 11.31 hours, Deputy Reamer. At 12.31 hours, Investigator Baldwin. At 12.41 hours, Sergeant Tyson. That would be it for the regloving. It should also be noted that on 030206, Special Agents Kim Skorlinski, Joseph Capitani, and Deb Strauss also assisted with the search of the trailer to locate any possible items indicated on the search warrant. At approximately 1410 hours, it should be noted that a pl white plastic garbage bag in the north bedroom closet was located. In that white plastic garbage bag contained 500 loose boxes of Blazer 22 long rifle ammunition. Also were 500 rounds in separate boxes containing in a big box of Blazer 22 long rifle ammunition. Included in the bag was one box of Spitfire containing two bullets and also several musket balls. These items were not taken into evidence. However, they were photographed and noted where they were located. At approximately 1440 hours, I took into my custody an 8mm videotape from Detective Rumaker from the Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department containing video of the pre-search and post-search of Stephen Avery's trailer. That item was evidence tagged and later placed into evidence. On 0306I, Investigator Baldwin made contact with Honorable Judge Fox at the Manor County Jail's Judges Chamber. Honorable Judge Fox did sign a search warrant for the recovery of Brendan Dassey's DNA and also palm and fingerprints. That search warrant was signed at approximately 1518 hours. At approximately 1540 hours, that search warrant was turned over to Special Agent Kim Skorlinski to deliver to Special Agent Tom Fassbender. On 030306, at approximately 0830 hours, I, Investigator Baldwin, made contact with District Attorney Kenneth Kratz and Assistant District Attorney Jeffrey Froelich and informed them there was not an affidavit faxed to the Manitowoc County Clerk's Office for Honorable Judge Fox to review. At this time, I assisted the District Attorney's Office with preparing a new search warrant for the DNA fingerprints and palm prints of Brenda Dassey. That search warrant was prepared and personally escorted to Honorable Judge Fox, page 680. At approximately 10.22 hours, Honorable Judge Fox signed the search warrant for Brendan's DNA as well as I signed and dated the search warrant. Two copies of the search warrant from 030206 were destroyed. A search warrant was then turned over to Investigator Weger to serve on Brendan Dassey. At approximately 13.25 hours, the items that were seized from the search warrant were recorded and a return of officer form was completed by myself and signed. The original search warrant, a copy of the search warrant, and a return of search warrant were turned over to Investigator Weger to file with the Clerk of Court's office in Manitowoc County. Investigator Wendy Baldwin, Calumet County Sheriff's Department. Okay, you guys, we're going to do a short review today page 671 we're starting with.
Brendan, where am I going? Barbianda, where do you think you're going? Brendan, I don't know. Barbianda, you're going to Juvie. That's where you're going, to Juvie Jail, about 45 minutes away. Brendan, but I got a question. And then we jump to 672. Barb says, what's that? Brendan says, what happened if he says something? His story's different. What if he, he admits to doing it? Barbianda, what do you mean? Brendan, like if his story's different, like I never did nothing or something. Barbianda, did you? Huh? Brennan, not really. Barbianda, what do you mean not really? Brennan, they got into my head. There you have it. Mm -hmm. But what really gets me, let's go ahead. Barb's talking. You know, this is where her son is being taken away. This traumatic event has happened. And she's talking about how much she owes on her house and how hard it will be to sell it. That's what she's got in her head at that moment. So let's go to page 675, where it says, okay, all right, do you want to be left alone with him for five minutes? Or it doesn't matter at this point. Barbianda, it doesn't matter. Weird. Okay, Barbianda, I just don't know if I'm really able to handle it. <sighs> this is your child. You know he's being taken away. He doesn't even know what's going on. He just got through telling you that he's worried because Stephen's going to say he didn't have anything to do with it. And she asked him, did you? And he's like, not really. And she says, I, I don't, it doesn't matter if I spend time with him. All right, you guys, that's the review. Um, and we are done with the Brendan interviews. Well, interrogations, actually. Thank you for joining me on part 68 of the Daily Mail reading. That was Castle Investigative Reports. You know, it really upsets me that Barb is taking the last few minutes to talk about money and trying to sell her house rather than spend time with her son who just got done telling her that he's worried that Stephen's story is going to say he didn't have anything to do with it. Hmm. They're going to know he's lying, that he didn't have anything to do with it. And why did he say all that? Because they got in his head. That's what he said. How did they get in his head? Play the video in your mind, Brendan. Play the video in your mind. And what video was that? Well, Brendan said on trial that he got, all, he got it all from a book called Kiss the Girls. Later, it was revealed that Brendan was afraid that he was going to get in trouble because he wasn't 18 when he said he saw the movie. So he had indeed seen the movie. You guys, if you didn't do the crime... You shouldn't do the time. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. There are some uh, wonderful things coming up soon. And here are some other videos that might interest you.